North Korea conducted its fifth underground nuclear test on September 2016. Since the first test, almost a decade ago, the size of the resulting tremors from the country's test site has increased, indicating that the devices are becoming more powerful. This implies that neither the corrosive sanctions from UN Security Council, nor the friendly persuasion from its long-term ally China, have any impact on North Korea in this regard. In this video, we will take a look at the following aspects. 1. Understand how North Korea got its weapons. 2. Analyze how powerful these are. 3. Comprehend how sophisticated are the missiles it possesses. Let's start one by one. Number three. It all started with cooperation between USSR and North Korea in 1956. The basis of cooperation was ideological match, and was further consolidated based on the perception of rising US and NATO influence which was seen as threat by both countries. This was the time of Cold Wars. Here is a high-level timeline of the events. 1956, the Soviet Union begins training North Korean scientists and engineers, giving them basic knowledge to initiate a nuclear program. 1958, the US deploys nuclear-armed honest John missiles and 280mm atomic cannons in South Korea. 1959, in response to U.S. deployment, North Korea and the USSR sign a nuclear cooperation agreement. 1962, the Yongbyon Nuclear Scientific Research Center opens. 1965, the Yongbyon IRT-2000 research reactor reaches a power rating of 2 megawatts. 1970-1980, North Korea begins uranium mining operations at various locations near Suncheon and Pyongsan. 1981-94, with USSR no longer able to help it and under international pressure, North Korea eventually suspends its nuke program. 2002-present, slowly things take turn for worse. The US announces that North Korea admitted in their talks to a clandestine nuclear weapons program. The North rejects a call to open its nuclear facilities to inspection. It withdraws from NPT. Since then North Korea has taken a very aggressive approach, and is known to persuade nuclear weapons program without most determination. Till date it has conducted five nuclear tests. Number two. The first nuke test was conducted by North Korea on October 8, 2006. As per the United States analysts, it had a yield of less than 1 kilotons of TNT. Blasts have become more powerful since then. The device tested by the North, in January 2016, had a force equivalent of 7 kilotons of TNT. By contrast, the device detonated on September 2016 looks to have had a force equivalent of 25 kilotons of TNT, according to the most analysis. Let us now compare these with other known tests and explosions. Trinity test in New Mexico in July 1945, which ushered in the nuclear age, had a yield of 20 kilotons. Hiroshima's little boy bomb had a yield of 13 to 18 kilotons whereas Nagasaki's Fatman bomb had a yield of 20 to 22 kilotons of TNT. So it can be inferred that North Korea currently has a decent size bomb in its hand, and looking at increasing yield of its bombs, it can be said that it will have immense destructive power at its disposal in coming days. The other big question is whether the devices being tested are atomic bombs or hydrogen bombs which are more sophisticated. H-bombs use fusion, the merging of atoms, to unleash massive amounts of energy, whereas atomic bombs use nuclear fission, or the splitting of atoms. H-bombs are typically more powerful than atom bombs. The 2006 
2009 and 2013 tests were all atomic bomb tests. North Korea claimed that its January 2016 test was of a hydrogen bomb. But experts cast doubt on the claim given the relative small size of the registered explosion. H-bombs generally have yield of about 100 kilotones or more. Details of the fifth test with regards to being atomic or hydrogen have not yet been released. Overall, it is estimated that currently North Korea has about 15 nuclear bombs with a cumulative explosive power of about 50 kilotons. But power is not the only measure of a device's lethality. The bombs have to be miniaturized so that missiles can carry them. South Korean, US and Japanese analysts have been trying hard to understand how successful North Korea is in that process. According to some experts, North appears to be close to achieving that goal. Number 1 A bomb once miniaturized must also have a way to be delivered. North Korea very well understands it and is developing missile for this purpose. North Korea's program has progressed over the last few decades from tactical artillery rockets in the 1960s and 70s to short-range and medium-range ballistic missiles in the 1980s and 90s. Systems capable of greater and greater ranges are understood to be under research and development. The country's missile program has mainly been developed from the Scud missile, which itself a development from the German V-2 rockets of World War II. Here is a list of known North Korean missile along with their capabilities. North Korea went on to embark on a program in the late 1980s to build a new missile. It is known as the Nodong, and has range of 1000 kilometers. Its likely target is Japan. It's a single-stage missile. The Muzud, also known as the Nodong B, is an intermediate-range ballistic missile. Its likely targets are Okinawa, Japan, and US bases in the Pacific. Range estimates differ dramatically. Israeli intelligence believes they have a 2,500 km range while the US Missile Defense Agency estimates they have a range of 3,200 km. The Tapadong-1 was the country's first multi-stage missile. Based on satellite photographs, independent think tank the Federation of American Scientists believes the first stage is an Odong missile and the second stage is Hwasong-6, which is a short-range missile. It has an estimated range of 5,000 km. The Tapadong-2 is also a two-stage ballistic missile, but is a significant advancement on the Tapadong-1. Its range has been estimated at anything between 5,000 to 10,000 km. Tapadong-2 and its technology had been flight tested three times. It failed to perform on all these occasions. If the Tapadong-2 becomes successful and it reached its maximum estimated range, its range could put Australia and parts of the US, among other countries, within range. Thanks for watching. How China copied five important US weapons. To know more, watch this video.